Okay, so I have my game inside in Unity, and in my game I figured it would be nice that somewhere on my scene here that I might include a building maybe somewhere here on my game. And a useful source for, for buildings in, um, in Unity is actually in a program called SketchUp. So if you have the Pro version of SketchUp, there's a really cool 3D warehouse which has 3D objects that can be used in a game. But uh, what I feel is the nicest feature of it, for, as far as Unity is concerned, is uh, the, the buildings. Of course, there's lots of uh, packages such as 3D Max and Maya and Blender uh, that you can use to create your 3D objects and bring them into, um, into Unity. So let's start the tutorial inside in SketchUp, get our building, uh, create it in a format that we can bring it into Unity. First, we got to make sure our file and folder management is in good nick. So I'm going to go into Unity, make sure I know where I want to drop this building. So inside in the Assets folder, I'm going to create a new folder by right-clicking down in the folder area here. And I'm going to call it SketchUp Building. So that's uh, the folder I'm going to use to contain um, my building that I bring in from SketchUp. Um, you may you may be somebody like me who's a bit forgetful and you may have forgotten where you've uh, saved your project. So a handy tip for you here, just go in and click the Save Scene As button. And when you do that, you should be able to, if you're on a Mac, if you're on Windows, you should have a similar browser window. Uh, but if you just switch the view here, we can see the paths. You should be able to see the path of that asset folder. Go back to a folder called Demo Project, which leads me back to my desktop. So I know the, the Unity Project folder, which contains all my assets, and which I'm going to have to browse to, to get to my SketchUp building folder in a minute to drop my exported file into, uh, is going to be there. So the, the path there again, Desktop, Demo Project, Assets, SketchUp Building, that's going to be come in useful in a minute. Over to SketchUp, when I open... SketchUp Pro, uh, just to make things tidier for the export so I don't accidentally select this guy, I'm just going to erase him. Okay, that's just something I like to do. Once erased, I'm just going to go to the file menu on top here and let's go to the 3D model, uh, warehouse and get some models. So you got to sign yourself into the 3D warehouse. So a Google account will do the trick here, so I'm just going to use my Gmail email account details I click there the picks up that I'm signed on to, to Gmail and I'm gonna allow it to log me in if not you're gonna have to go out onto the, the Google website and set up an account and use that as your login I'll accept the terms of use there you can see me logged in here and I'm good to go so I'm gonna go for a castle See what I get. So I'm going to go for the Thornbury Castle here. See the, the file size here, 4.9 uh, megabytes. Let's download. So I'm going to load this directly into SketchUp, which may take a bit of. And there you can see there's my model in all its glory. And I'm ready to export. Under the file menu, I'll click export 3D model is the type. And the title will be, and of course I know my location. It's on my desktop. Where my Unity project folder is located. And I found that with my save as, save scene as trick and in the assets subfolder, the SketchUp building folder is where I want to put this item. Now the, the file format I'm going to choose is FBX because I found over the test of time that this works quite well inside in Unity. Out in the, the Unity support site there's a very good, um, there's a very good uh, documentation page there about uh, importing uh, 3D models and in there you've got the details of different compatible uh, file types. We can see there that the FBX is compatible, as is many other uh, uh, 
file formats that, that are available from SketchUp. Now I'm just going to choose the options as well before I go and make sure I tick this box here uh, that asks me to export two sided faces because you can end up with transparent uh, items there if you don't tick that box. And the units of unity is meters. And I'll click OK there and I'll perform my export. And again, this may take a minute. Once the export is uh, complete, you get a little box indicating the results of the export. I'll just close off here, quit Unity, and I'm not going to save the file. And interesting, when I browse that file, the, the export file is around 9 megabytes. Um, it was originally about 4 megabytes, so something to be aware of. There may be an increase in size uh, from the SketchUp file to the FBX file or the exported format file when it gets bought over to Unity. I'll pop back into Unity. And we should see the export being finalized here. You can see that may take a minute again. There we go. After a minute or so, your SketchUp building folder, which we nominated for the export, will be populated within Unity itself. Um, in the, the folder view there, you can expand to see the, the wire meshes used to create the castle, the materials used. If I'm ready to bring it into my scene, onto my terrain. But uh, I'll just select the castle first and have a look at some of the properties. One of the things I would do is generate colliders for the, the building, which means that if you're in, uh, if you're controlling a character, that it won't end up walking through the walls and so on. Uh, the scale factor there looks rather tiny, so I'm going to scale that up to maybe. I'll scale it up to at least fifty percent. I'll scale it up to, to full scale. One is the one because I have a terrain. If I had like the terrain and check the settings that the terrain I've set up, you can see it's two thousand wide by two thousand high, which is a two k by two k terrain, which is large enough to accommodate the full scale castle. I'm happy now to drag it onto my scene. Once it's dragged on, there you can see it appearing. Just zoom in so we can appreciate it. There we go. And the only other setting I'd, I'd um, change on that would be when I have the castle selected. In the inspector window, I'd ensure that it's a static object, as I don't want to see it blown around in the wind. You can, of course, zoom in, great detail into objects, select them. You can see there in the hierarchy window where that lies. You can change properties such as the, the textures. For example, there I can darken these objects quite easily and manipulate them around. This tutorial looked at placing a building from SketchUp into Unity to produce an end result like you see here in Unity. At the start of the process in SketchUp, we found out how to enter the 3D warehouse to get the building itself. The process to assign into the warehouse. We locate it, select it, and download it, a building of our choice. Loaded it into the SketchUp model. We then uh, export it in a 3D format. The FBX format was chosen and we browsed into the Unity project folder to place the FBX file. We ensured that a two-sided two um, geometry was selected along with meters as the, as the units. Once exported into Unity, we were able to browse the, the, the castle building inside the Unity folder drag and drop it, make sure the colliders were generated so that um, uh, characters would uh, collide off the, the solid objects of the castle. We also ensured the scale factor uh, was, was full uh, because the terrain being used was rather large and large enough to accommodate a full scale uh, version of the castle. Once the castle was dragged into the game and highlighted in the hierarchy view, we were able to ensure that it was uh, selected as a static object 
so that it wouldn't uh, take on a effects uh, of non-static objects such as uh, trees blowing in the breeze. Finally, we've shown how easy it is to manipulate sub items of the castle, uh, such as uh, changing the texture and scale of uh, smaller items within the castle itself.